Sully, are you there? Damn it. Sully, come in. Oh, thank God, Nate. Where are you? Heading your way. They've got Elena. We have to stop them. Yeah, got problems of my own. Bastards have me pinned down outside the church. Almost there. Ready to go back to the church? <laughs> By the way, that gold ing ingot, or whatever, I don't know, I've never known how to pronounce that, is yeah. probably worth more than everything else in this fucking game. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. Like, treasure like that? I, I don't know, some of them are probably pretty damn heavy, but like, pirate gold like that, where it's actually stamped, that's, that shit's worth so much. Anyway, guess where we are? We're back where we found... Di was it Dinosaur on Wheels? I think it was Dinosaur on Wheels over here. <laughs> okay. We're back, we're back where all the sexual tension was. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot of fighting in this courtyard. I mean, I guess we should sort of be used to that by now, but... There's a lot of gunplay here towards the end. Jeez, you just put like five rounds in his head. Well, they got little helmets now, man. Yeah. And uh, we're not even going to pretend like I don't die here. There's definitely several deaths in this section. Oh my god! That was definitely uh, the grenade launcher guy killing his friend. <laughs> 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 For no reason. I do like the look of their like tactical helmets and stuff though. They sweet goggles and shit. Yeah. Bastard. Jeez, where'd he come from? No, oh, I thought he was dead. Not working effectively. Just knock him out, yeah. Oh! He fought back. Yeah, they do. So we had to brutal victory him. <laughs> that is the most least obvious brutal victory, but it was still a brutal victory. Oh lord. So we'll just say, like, right here is where I die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Considering it's basically a, a veritable no-win scenario. Yeah, there's, uh, the best part is dying there will actually put you over here, right next to the sniper rifle. So it was like, oh, that's, oh, that was nice. Who How wouldn't courteous die of them. Who wouldn't die on purpose? <laughs> At least it advanced me. Dying and it put me in the right spot. That's better than anything I've ever seen. It's, ever, it's better than anything that could happen in real life. Oh! Man, that guy was just going off. Yeah, dude, he was doing his Scarface. No kidding, holy shit. I love that. It's, I don't know what causes him to do it per se, but I think it's if you're just too far away or something. But it's always funny. Or maybe if you're hidden behind cover, they'll just hop out in Scarface, but it's still funny. Them, they don't know what they're dealing with. <laughs> what are you... I don't know how, but that statue destroyed the whole colony, and it killed the Germans, too. Oh, oh, come again? There's no time. We've got to get to the church. So guess which one's the church? Oh, look, it was right here all the time. We didn't even have to go through those catacombs. We could just open the door. <laughs> I thought you were trying to sneak around, uh... Sneak around the mercenaries. And that's why nope. you went to the catacombs. Well, who cares? You kill a million mercenaries all the time in this game. <laughs> True. Like, this whole section here in the church is... This is why when I said we'll come back here at a certain point and it gets really hard. Mm -hmm. As you can see, there was uh, two... There's at least four um, dudes with the uh, laser sights. There's two mortar guy. Fuck! There's two grenade launcher guys coming down the center. And... Uh, there's gonna be even more laser sight guys in a bit, plus even more guys keep pumping out. It's ridiculous. This is like a full war. Well, it's been. <laughs> that's, what it's, that's what it's been since the shooting started. Sweet. Just remember. Oh, there, look at that. He's even out there. How'd he get up there? <laughs> he climbed. I love that, like, guitar riff or whatever it is. Yeah. Some Spanish guitar. To kill oh, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna take the grenade launcher here. 
and use it to hopefully some effect. Let's just try to keep some of the little mans from popping out everywhere. There is going to be something like six, I think. It's a lot of dudes in a very small area again. Something they like doing to me. <laughs> yeah. But where the hell is Sully? Yeah, that's exactly what my first thought was. Because I wanted to sort of use him as bait, like I did with- Oh my god, look at this! Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get all of them, but at least I got two. <laughs> that's just ridiculous! I eventually abandoned the plan- Normally I fight back there, and then I abandoned that plan and ran over here. Yeah, I guess so. Kind of a Zully's actually hiding in that back corner behind the very furthest pew where we got the treasure. Ah. Yeah. And he doesn't even really shoot or do anything helpful. That sounds like Sully. <laughs> and of course, there's another laser side guy. And now I'm out of secondary weapon ammo. So actually this is sort of, I think this is sort of how they intended you to progress. I normally don't do this, I normally stick around the back, but if you do that on the third wave, um, all the soldiers come from the back, so it's like they're supposed to swarm you there. So I guess you are supposed to move further into the, the church. And it looks like Sully actually moved forward. Yeah he did, I saw him uh, running across, uh, running up the aisle, <laughs> like as you were trying to take out a, uh, a grenade launcher guy. I think. No. Well, fine then. Fine, you can pay more attention to what's going on than I will. How's that? Okay. <laughs> it's your job. It's, it's your job to play the game. I just, uh, I'm just here to make witty remarks. Oh, well, I don't think you've done enough of that. I will. I will. I will strive to improve, sir. There should be a hidden passage right under the altar. Okay, this also doesn't make a lick of sense to me, but we'll just go with it. Because I'm pretty certain you were already in the passageway under the altar, but apparently there's another one. <laughs> Jeez. Holy shit. Whoa. In fact, the passage looks extremely similar to the one we were in previously, but whatever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Golden bones. You wanna tell me what the hell's going on? Drake didn't want to get the treasure off the island, Sully. He was trying to stop it from leaving. What? It's cursed or something. Oh, Nate, for God's sake. Look, I know it sounds crazy. You just gotta trust me. Dude, I've seen Nazi zombies. Don't fuck with me about this. <laughs> Seriously. That is a pretty badass rosary. That is, uh, yeah, kind of creepy, too. Belong to the coolest Catholic priest ever. <laughs> Belong to, uh, what was it, Preacher? And Treasure 61 of 60. We're done. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and, that last, the, and the last treasure we get is that is a creepy stupid fucking mask. Fucking mask. <laughs> should realize by now that I plan for every contingency. Now drop your weapons. Down there. No heroics, please. Or I will kill her. Good. Now, if you'll just hang tight, we'll be with you in a moment. It's magnificent. Craftsmanship. I've never seen anything like it before. That is only a shell. The real treasure of El Dorado lies inside. <laughs> Open it!
with yours, Heavy. So little imagination. <laughs> Navarro! That thing wiped out an entire colony! You don't know what you're doing! Wrong! I'm the only person on this island who knows what the hell he's doing! Cargue la statua! Cuidado! You are so pathetic. All of you, scrambling around for your petty treasures. Do you have any idea what this is worth? To the right buyer? Levantalo! Oh no, what the hell is that? Oh god! Run! Uh, uh. Jesus, what are those things? It's the Spaniards, Sully. They never left. My god. If that thing gets off the island... You gotta stop him. I'll cover you from here. So, we have like a little quick escape sequence, but I gotta say, uh... For a guy who plans for every contingency, the guy who I'm with might betray me, or the treasure is trapped, is two of the highest things I'd put on that list. Yeah. That was kind of... That was... That was we had a plan I, for every contingency. Yeah, I plan shit. for every contingency. Like, you might show up. That's about all I plan for, really. <laughs> I mean, that really technically is every contingency. What else could go wrong? I mean, what else could happen here? But yeah. This little section's pretty short. You just shotgun everything and jump to the treasure. Alright, here we are, final chapter. And apparently, Navarro is able to cover ground really fast because he just ran from one end of the ship and is now behind those boxes over there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> nope. Nice try, though. So, again, I'm playing extremely carefully. Yeah, I know. It well, works. It's kind of necessary at this point. I've tried hopping around behind the boxes like a madman. Not even slightly as effective as just hiding over here. In fact, this section that comes up, pretty much all I do is cheat. Not gonna lie. For example, <laughs> right here where I go, okay, no one's over there. Step forward, push the trigger. There comes everybody. Run back. <laughs> that's not cheating, that's abusing the ones and O's. It is abusing the ones and O's, it but is perfectly it's still legal. technically cheating. It is perfectly... <laughs> if, they, if they didn't plan for that... <laughs> how many times did I do that in Resident Evil? <laughs> this way you can sort of just take everybody out one dude at a time, rather than having to deal with all those guys shooting at once. Yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> It's not your fault that they didn't program their AI so you can't corral them. Hey, this is exploiting. This is I would 100% define this as exploiting. However, I'm also okay with it because I don't have to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my problem. <laughs> oh. 
So Navarro is the dude with the uh, with the friggin' laser sight over there. If you watch his firing pattern, he essentially does three blind fire shots, which will miss you. Then he pops up and will do an aim shot. So that final one is the one you need to dodge. Like that. Um, during the rest of the time, you can peg out his peg off his friends, and then basically you run around, and collect ammo, and keep going like that. Oh, so just like the rest of the game. Yes, essentially, it's just another fight, dudes, move on, fight, dudes, move on, fight, dudes, move on. You know, this is the only level in the game I think where it makes sense that all these guns are lying around. Sorta. Press circle to not die. Good Stole job. your line. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the, the the downside of this is that this is kind of one of the worst boss fights I've ever seen. Uh, you'll see why once it actually concludes, but for crying out loud, it's it's just more of the same game, dodging one dude who will insta-kill you. And then it gets a little worse. Fantastic. That kind of it kind of reminds me of the the last fight in um, the last boss in Gears of War. Yeah, sort of. Was he on, was that on the train? I can't yeah, remember. It's been that a while. Was on the train. Yeah. Oh, you bastards! And he had to be a shotgun guy or whatever. Oh no no, there's a shotgun guy helping. <laughs> Even worse. Oh fuck. <laughs> uh, just this is what I meant better. by it gets worse. <laughs> so we take out grenade launcher mans. Yeah, we're not we're not ending it on a mortar. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> you, fu you all hoped. I hoped. Anyway, uh, Navarro runs up, and we come to the final showdown. So, check out Drake's hands, by the way, during this section. <laughs> oh, no, he totally looks like he's holding a gun, even though he's not. He wants to be holding a gun. <laughs> he's holding an invisible gun so he feels better. So basically, you use the same uh, strategy where he'll fire twice, and then you let some time up, and then you do this! It belongs in a museum! <laughs> And you run up as fast as you can or else he'll insta-kill you. And you have to do the whole thing over, and then you win. Wow. <laughs> Elena! Elena! Save the world, triumph over evil. <laughs> Pretty typical. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's a shame we're leaving empty-handed, though. <laughs> oh, well, you know, I, I did manage to save one small thing. Here, I, I thought you might miss this. Thanks. Yeah. You two got a funny idea of romantic. Sully! Wow, you... you look like hell. You should see the other guys. <laughs> Got us a boat. Uh, we already have a boat. Yeah, big boat. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one better. 
<gasps> Sully, you beautiful son of a bitch! Borrowed it off a couple of pirates who were too dead to care. <laughs> Sorry you didn't get your story. No, uh, that's all right. There'll be other stories. You still owe me one. <laughs> I'm good for it. And there's Uncharted. You know, all that stuff all that first person uh, point of view stuff with the camera was really pointless because the camera got broken first person what are you talking about like at the beginning of the game and like at, at other points when he's like <coughs> excuse me when he's like reading the reading the journals and stuff and like you can see from Elena's point of view she's holding the the video camera yeah, recording him saying that stuff she was recording at that time what's it matter it, the, the camera got destroyed, so the recording was destroyed with it. Yeah, I understand that concept. I'm just saying that when it comes down to it, the camera was still there. It's not like they didn't have it... It's not like it got... I mean, at that point, it was still accurate in the story. They had a camera. Why not use it? I don't know. It just seems... It seems a bit silly See, to... You have a problem with the silliest shit. The camera thing? I don't care. My problem is, why wouldn't you just pump lead into the dude pushing a helicopter? <laughs> he had a shotgun in his fucking hand, and he was like, Hey, that guy's pushing a helicopter. Didn't even bother looking at the rope around his foot or moving two feet. Plus all That's those, my problem. <laughs> plus all those, uh, plus all those, all those perfectly working 60-year-old machine guns. <laughs> that were scattered around this dank environment that didn't have to... <laughs> by the way, in case you just noticed that on the uh, the credits, yes, the Descendants are played by Spike Spiegel. <laughs> 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 oh, video games. There's so only five people who do voices. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, I don't know. Uncharted 1, what do you think? Um, not a not a bad game, but it's it's got a it's you know it's delightfully average. It is. It's it's. There's a reason everybody gave it eights. I, I mean, it, we're not talking about a ten game now. Uncharted two, pretty much tens, nines across the board. Um, you'll see where they really built from this. But one, yeah, to me, it doesn't even have a Raiders feel where you you watch Raiders of the Lost Ark and you're like, okay, this is. It's something. Um, Uncharted is is a beginning that is incredibly boring and concise. Like, nothing really extends past it except the relationships built up in the game. Everyone else is just fucking dead. Yeah. <laughs> like, all the, antagoni <laughs> all the antagonists are dead. Uh, there's no, like, descendancy that Eldorado is fucking underwater somewhere waiting for the next group of people to try to find it in 200 years. And use it as a very slightly obscured weapons of mass destruction reference. Yeah, they were making the 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 freaking the game turned back into Resident Evil again when it was like, oh, the coffin <laughs> contains the T virus. <laughs> they turned Kane into a fucking zombie and then shoot him. <laughs> I like that though because that that to me I thought it was interesting that the Navarro was the main enemy and not not Roman. Even though they pitch Roman at you the whole time and he has Kane's voice, he's just some dude who dies. Yeah. In the <laughs> end. Well, I mean, the, the way he was treating Navarro and the way Navarro was talking back to him, mm -hmm. it, seemed, it, it, seemed that, it seemed that Navarro was in control the whole time anyway. True. It, it is, it's hinted at it, like I said. It just, I like the idea that the pompous asshole, for once, isn't this megalomaniacal, crazy... Xanatos style mastermind and really is kind of fucking dumb and an egoist. Yeah. And he got what he deserved. Yeah, he planned for every contingency except Except the for the ones. obvious ones. <laughs> 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 oh, you betrayed me. I totally didn't see that coming, even though you were talking back to me and calling me an asshole the whole time. 
I'm just saying there's no way I would open that thing. If someone was like, open it, I'd be like, you open it, or you open it. Because right. I'm pretty certain the Spanish could have filled it with dynamite, and knowing this universe that we're in, that dynamite would be working. Yeah. <laughs> the Germans booby-trapped it with an A-bomb that was experimental that was developed by Hitler. That's what I'm saying. Like, there is no way, knowing all the people that touch that shit, that I would even get near opening that that crate. But uh, the, the Descendants, you see what I was talking about, though? That, like, since the the actual coffin, when it's op or the uh, El Dorado, when it's opened, turned all the people in where it was originally at into the Descendants, which is why there's, you know, statues of them worshipping it, and they don't even look human. Then, as you see, that the, the uh, eventually the Nazis take it to the next place, or... I'm sorry, the Spaniards move it. The Spaniards all get turned into them. Then the Nazis try. Then the Nazis get turned and murdered. And, like, it actually consistently, like, connects with the descendants. I thought that was a really nice touch. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad. It's just, I don't know, the whole Resident Evil Doom feel of it. I felt that, I felt like they didn't do enough to establish that atmosphere. I think they could have been a little bit more unique, too. Um... I, I I agree. They do just look like Doom guys, you know. Yeah. Uh, except they have little bits of bone around their neck, and you're like, oh, that that's what makes them Spanish. <laughs> yeah, that's what makes them native like. <laughs> yeah, it's close, but I mean, like, I, a little bit different design maybe would have helped. But I did like the story. I liked how involved they were. Once you sort of revealed the whole plot, it's just the plot's a little silly and a little paper thin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but. But uh, again, overall, Uncharted 1, not a bad game. I really do enjoy it. Um, and it's a nice building point for 2, which, again, I feel like is a big apology for 1. It's right. like, 1 was okay, 2, let's just go balls to the wall, because we got to fix this shit. <laughs> All right, cool. I look forward to uh, to experiencing it. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. Well, thank you for joining us for Uncharted 1. Uh, we'll be starting Uncharted 2 next week. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. See you guys soon. All right.